This is Mark Bell from Super Training. TV Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We got some bench pressing going on in this upcoming video, and you're going to see that we're using a fat bar. As of late in our training, we've been working with some different types of barbells for our bench pressing, and the reason for that is it puts your arm at a much different angle. Uh, when you can squeeze the bar, you can get the bar in there like this, you're going to have a little bit different of an arm angle than you would if your hand is more open. So you're going to see in the video as we're bench pressing uh, that our arm angle is going to be be quite a bit different you're actually going to kind of load up the shoulder a little bit more load up the pec a little bit more and so the angle is quite a bit different you got to use a little bit more pec a little bit more shoulder a little bit more triceps it makes the overall movement of the bench press that much harder same with overhead pressing so throw a fat bar into your training and see how it affects you strength is never a weakness enjoy the video here we go with the fat bar we got fat guys in the gym and we got fat bars fat people and fat things to lift with Here's Casey going with some bench pressing. You see in the arm angle is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's just kind of putting the, your hand and your wrist. See how my elbows are out more with this bar? It's just kind of the way that it is with this bar. You can still tuck your elbows in, um, but it makes, when you try to tuck your elbows in, it's very difficult. You see Mike's elbow is outside the wrist. That's a little bit different angle than uh, what you're used to seeing him normally bench with. So. Uh, we try to attack it all. We try to attack everything from all angles. I've said before, you know, if, uh, the Louis Simmons quote of uh, the old rock garden thing, if there was a million dollars underneath a rock in a rock garden, how many rocks would you flip over? You'd flip over every single stone until you found that million dollars, right? And so leave no stone unturned in your training either. We try to hit everything from all angles. Here's Casey going, and again, this is uh, typically done on our speed day is where we'd like to throw this kind of training in um, because the weights are lighter, um, but because the weights are lighter, it's kind of a good idea to make the challenge a little bit harder. So a lot of times on speed day, we'll add bands. Sometimes we'll add chains. Sometimes we'll add both bands and chains. Sometimes we will uh, change the type of barbell that we lift with. We may use a football bar. We may use a fat bar as we are here. Uh, in the previous week of this uh, style of training, we used um, a squat bar which is just a regular just a little bit thicker than a regular barbell so again making the challenge just a little bit harder for myself I actually noticed that I lift about 20 to 30 pounds less with the fatter bar it makes that big of a difference um, from just a squat bar to a regular bar so the fat bar is going to even force you to lift less but while it's forcing you to lift less it's also forcing you to work very hard so it's a way of getting a great stimulus with less um, less overall work I guess you'd say your silent mic going again see what we're trying to do when we're doing this type type of work is we are trying to hit the same exact spot each and every time um, you're gonna notice with newer lifters when they bring the weight down they're gonna hit a different spot nearly every time and that's not the goal we're trying to hit the same spot have the same groove press the same way every single time we're trying to reinforce uh, good technique with speed work, we're always working on force production and form perfection. You want to be able to dial in and lock in that form so well that you're able to go like a mofo. So you see these guys are holding the bar down for me there. Looks like I'm doing a whole lot of nothing, but I'm trying to push against it as hard as I can. I'm trying to throw Silent Mike off the uh, liftoff spot there. Um, that's just an isometric contraction. It's just something uh, that Josh Bryant's a big fan of, so I figured I'd give it a try. I've gotten help from Josh Bryant before. He helped me bench uh, 562 in a meet, so the guy knows a thing or two. He's also the youngest person ever bench press over 600 pounds. Josh Bryant, look him up. You got motherfucker smart. There's Ramos benching uh, with the fat bar as well. The fat bar is just, just going to make the lift gonna make the lift a little bit more difficult. So it's something good to add to your training uh, here and there. We're starting to add a little bit of weight to it as we typically do. Whenever we're doing speed work, we do not do speed work uh, normally with the same weight. We like to add a little bit of weight per set. But remember, you're always uh, focused in on your intent for the day. So don't add so much weight that it slows you down because then you're ruining the whole entire purpose of speed work. So now we're going with, uh, now I'm switching to a uh, closer grip. Um, still doing some of those isometric contractions in between, in between sets. I kind of liked it, but uh, it was new, new for me, so it's something I'm going to have to uh, 
utilize more. Whenever you're trying something new, give it an honest shot. Don't just try it one time. Because if you just try it once, sometimes you, it'll be too unfamiliar to you and you might not, might not care for it too much. <clears throat> um, normally when we're doing speed work, we're going to do uh, upwards of 8 sets, 8 to 12 sets, normally of about 3 to 5 repetitions, depending on the week. Um, at Super Training, we like to really switch things up quite a bit, though. We will sometimes only do, um, we'll sometimes go all the way up to uh, 12 or 15 sets of, of singles. Uh, other times we will just do fives to five, we might do six sets of four, or four sets of six. Those of you that have been watching Super Training Dat TV should already know this um, from kind of watching the videos that we like to switch things up a little bit rather than just keeping things uh, stagnant and doing the same old boring shit every time. There's uh, little Smokey giving me a tea bag again, uh, doing that isometric contraction again. It's actually really hard because you're trying to push into the bar is. Um, as powerfully as you can you're trying to actually try to move the bar off the uh, pins and it actually pretty much just fucking hurts but uh i gonna try it again next week and uh keep keep playing around with it and see see what it does for me i think uh we're getting towards the end of the workout typically uh we'll do our speed work and we follow it up with some assistance work and then we'll be out the door you see the elbows are out a little bit more with that fat bar as i mentioned earlier now we got some close grip bench pressing going on as an assistance movement, a secondary barbell movement. And on this day we kept it pretty light and we kept it fast. The first movement was uh, done with a little bit heavier weight and so we wanted to kind of reintroduce the speed and we moved a little bit faster. We got some bands on there and we all just use the same weight. 185 pounds, there's three of us in a group and we just uh, rotated around until, until we were dead and we were done. Whenever you're doing speed work, you're trying to not only press the weights uh, fast, but you're also trying to lower the weights fast. You're trying to be aggressive with it. You're trying to press that shit as hard and as strong as you possibly can. You're also, again, as I always mention, that you're trying to um, really reinforce technique and keep your form. It's crucial that you do that. If you're just moving around like a maniac and not keeping your form, uh, then you're kind of missing the whole point of it. There I am doing some with the legs up, getting those sexy legs on camera. There's Casey going. And when we go in a group like this, you know, how long do we rest is just uh, how long it takes from one guy to the next guy to the next guy to go. Um, a lot of times we'll switch up our grip. I don't know what uh, little Smokey was doing there, showing us his balls right there. That was pretty impressive. But we'll switch up our grip. Uh, we'll go wide, we'll go close. We're trying to attack things from all angles at all times. And um, sometimes we'll do uh, three sets close, three sets medium, three sets wide. And as I mentioned earlier, sometimes we'll change the weight up too. We'll add a little bit of weight per set sometimes. Trying to just push into the bar as hard as possible. Again, the bands are on there because the bands are accommodating the resistance. The weights are lighter at the bottom and heavier at the top. Uh, making you produce more force, making you move faster. And it's also, uh, the bands are also, the bands and the chains actually are really good for lockout, uh, whether it's deadlifting, squatting, or bench pressing. So it's going to help you to move faster and also help you to lock out a little bit more better. We got Casey going again. You can see Casey's got long ass arms, so he's getting a little bit more band tension than the rest of us. He's getting screwed. Got little Smokey, he's about 5'1", so he's not getting any band tension at all. He has zero band tension on there. I'm kind of cheating, not really locking him out, so. You do what you gotta do to get through these workouts. But we always do a secondary barbell movement on almost every workout, whether it's bench squat or deadlift. Um, we, uh, it just ends up being a little bit easier um, in terms of finding and figuring out the next movement when you just utilize the secondary barbell movement. So for example, if you did some uh, deadlifts, you can simply just do some stiff leg deadlifts afterwards. And if you do some bench press, you can just do some close grip bench press afterwards. You don't have to change equipment. You can stay in the same spot. There's Silent Mike, perfect on Little Smokey, getting some pictures of him for the Instagrams. That's at Silent Mike, people, pay attention. And at Mark Bell Slingshot is Little Smokey. He's been perving on people. He's running that shit. He's doing a good job. <clears throat> well, we'd like to try to switch shit up uh, often with the secondary barbell movement, but 
like I mentioned earlier, it just makes it easier. You know, when you're doing uh, squats, you can just, after some uh, squatting, you can mix in uh, some good mornings. After bench pressing, you can switch to close grip. You can switch to wide grip. Um, you can switch to um, something easy where you're not uh, not moving around a whole bunch and you don't have to think too much about the next uh, movement. Here I am uh, using the Havoc bar. This is sent to my sent from my boy Havoc, Mr. Havoc Pants. Um, this bar is a, a bar that you can actually load up with uh, water or you can put whatever the hell else in it that you want. It weighs about 45 pounds. It's got some different handles on it. It has, uh, uh, at the top, it has a really fat handle. And at the bottom, it has a less fat handle. And uh, in between, it kind of has a football bar type of feel to it. I was doing some tricep work with it on this day. really liked it quite a bit. Uh, we didn't put anything inside it yet, and that's why I have uh, some weight on there. But because uh, it was new, I didn't had no idea what, uh, what kind of weight I could put on there. But it felt really good. It actually, this sort of feels a little bit like a kettlebell. Um, but it actually felt even a little bit better on my elbows than a kettlebell because the kettlebell sits back a little bit further in your wrist. Um, this felt like a good tricep movement. So I'm gonna try to add some more of these into my training. This will be a good uh, good builder of the bench press, I think, for us with um, some overhead work as well. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I guess I'm just trying not to hurt myself at this point. Look at the size of this guy's triceps and huge arms. It's important to build up your arms. You want a big bench, you're going to have to build up your arms. So hit up some extensions after your uh, main movements. And that is it from supertraining.tv.